After Floyd's death, there's been a push to financially support and donate to black-owned businesses. In Minnesota, one type of business did not have any black owners until now. Muriel Mose introduces us to two women filling a void in the Twin Cities. I feel uh, strongly that now is the time to open it. Dion Sims simply manifested her dream into this tweet only 16 days ago. It went viral and caught the attention of 22-year-old Somali-American and Minnesotan Muna Abdullahi, who felt called to make this a dream of hers as well. It was just one of the most natural things. Um, it just felt really right to be working with her on this. Their concept, Black Garnet Books, is already gaining a lot of support online. It will be the only Black-owned bookstore in the Twin Cities, selling only adult and young adult books written by Black or racially diverse authors. There are enough Black and racially diverse authors to fill a bookstore. You know, like, we don't have to um, be just like a little shelf in the corner labeled diverse books. Even though this is an uncertain time for small businesses in the middle of a pandemic, Sims believes her business will still see success because more people want to learn about the black experience and support black owned businesses following the death of George Floyd. We're going into this business with the mindset that things are different now. My hope is that with this bookstore that we can try to keep people thinking about it. In the age of COVID-19, Black Garnet Bookstore is going to be doing online sales only. However, they plan to do a pop-up store here on Lindale and Uptown sometime later this summer. In the meantime, they'll be launching a crowdfunding site next week in hopes of raising enough money to open a brick and mortar store someday. The founders hope the eventual brick and mortar store will also have a community space for activist groups to meet freely and safely. Still to come, Google Maps can now help you navigate COVID-19 hotspots. We'll tell you how next.